Monsieur Simonovic. Uh, Côte d'Ivoire can build on the progress it has made towards economic recovery and security. Continued support of the international community is very important. In this context, next week's consultations in Paris on the National Development Plan are an important opportunity for development partners to demonstrate their support. It is equally a great opportunity for the government to reiterate its commitment to socio-economic equity, human rights, rule of law and justice for all Ivorians without distinction. Uh, Maureen Grizo, Radio France International. Uh, the Ministry of Defense and the Ministry of Justice and Human Rights organized the visit of military camps uh, on Wednesday last week. Uh, they were uh, reacting after the, the, the reports from Human Rights Watch and Amnesty International about uh, tortures and uh, human rights viola violations in uh, military camps. What do you think? of this visit. Uh, do you think it is uh, effective and it is uh, uh, efficient for, uh, to, to show to journalists uh, those uh, military camps? Uh, even though uh, what happened and what was uh, denounced in, the, in those reports uh, dated from sometimes March, April, August and September and it was in November. Thank you. I wasn't at that visit but I was on my visit. And I didn't read about torture only in the reports. I have met torture victims myself, so I can confirm that torture was taking place. It's important that is, this issue is adequately addressed. Arbitrary detentions, uh, arbitrary uh, arrestations, arrests, uh, and so on. Do you confirm that the violations were massive uh, in August, September, and so on? Is that it's beyond any doubt that there were cases of arbitrary detention, that there were cases of keeping people incommunicado, as well as that some uh, people were victims of torture. Uh, I can't be sure about numbers, but we have uh, uh, proven cases of such violations of human rights. Depuis août 2010, les enquêtes portant sur euh, les violations des droits de l'homme euh, euh, qui ont été demandées par l'État du Côte d'Ivoire, par le gouvernement, ont été rendus au chef de l'État. Cinq mois après, jusque-là, les, les foutus ne sont pas encore sanctionnés. Qu'est-ce que le secrétaire général adjoint de l'ONU chargé des droits de l'homme, quelle est sa réaction sur, ce, sur le fait que cela traîne jusque-là Every state, every government, every society is entitled to protect itself from attacks. However, in doing that, human rights should be respected. Uh, I visited one prison and I did visit also persons who were allegedly involved in attacks. Uh, those people, just as all other people, are entitled to respect of their human rights and to free and fair trial. I think that the problem of impunity is a very serious problem in the country. It is not only a matter of justice, it is a matter of addressing uh, crimes, identifying perpetrators as a method of preventing future violations and future crimes. Unfortunately, history of Côte d'Ivoire uh, was in cycles of violence. It is important to break this cycle. Otherwise, uh, the period uh, between uh, the, 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 the uh, uh, peace will be just a period between two conflicts and not a sustainable one. Vous êtes venu en avril 2011, euh, au moment où la crise était très forte, comme vous l'avez dit. Euh, vous revenez un an et demi après. Euh, vous représentez une organisation qui dépense beaucoup d'argent euh, dans ce pays, euh, notamment dans le secteur des droits de l'homme. Êtes-vous déçu euh, par l'évolution 
de la situation des droits de l'homme en Côte d'Ivoire. The feelings are mixed. Uh, I will encourage both the United Nations and donors to continue their support uh, for Côte d'Ivoire. In some areas, such as the economic area, uh, the achievements are remarkable. However, I think that priority should be now increased uh, protection of human rights, as well as strengthening uh, the rule of law. It is essential for the quality of life of people, as well as for the peace to be a sustainable one. I think uh, that area where uh, government should move swiftly forward is also security sector reform, and I mentioned that already, that strengthening of police and gendarmerie as uh, 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 performing their constitutional duties. Merci beaucoup.